uh, trolley x of mass 1.2 kg travels at 8 meters per second east and collides with trolley y of mass 0.5 kg uh, which is initially addressed and then uh, the velocity time graph below shows the velocity of the trolley x before during and after the collision with trolley y and then yeah we have a uh, fancy sketch there and then the first question 4.1 which is saying let's state the principle of conservation of linear momentum uh we'll leave that for you and 4.2 4.2.1 so for 4.2.1 uh, we're looking for the velocity of trolley y immediately after the collision so how can we possibly determine uh, the velocity of trolley y immediately after the collision we are going to use the principle of conservation of linear momentum uh, because we know fully well that uh, the sum of the momentum before a collision should be equal to the sum of the momentum after a collision right so what is the momentum before a collision we're going to have uh, the momentum of uh, trolley x plus the momentum of trolley y and then after the collision we're gonna have uh, the sum of momentum of trolley x plus the sum of the momentum of trolley y right so if we calculate uh, the sum of the momentum of trolley x let's not forget that p is equals to m multiplied by v right uh, we're gonna have 1.2 multiplied by 8 so now uh, we can see that we need to decide on direction so let's take direction uh, to the east uh, as positive right and then the trolley at uh, the momentum of trolley y uh it is at rest right so we have 0 0.5 multiplied by 0 right uh this will be equal to uh the momentum after the collision of x we have 1.2 multiplied by the velocity the velocity is on the graph right uh, because here uh, this is the velocity before the collision during the collision and then immediately after the collision so we have four then and then plus uh, 0 0.5 multiplied by uh, the velocity of trolley y, right? So without uh, wasting any time here, we're gonna say that uh, the velocity of trolley y should be equal to, so we have this 1.2 multiplied by eight there, so we're gonna have uh, 1.2 multiplied by eight, and then uh, this, because we're multiplying by zero, is gonna fall apart, right? And then minus, uh, this here, which is uh, just uh, 1.2 multiplied by 4 and then everything divided by the coefficient of Vy, which is 0 0.5 So if we put that in a in our calculators, uh, we shall get Vy is equal to 9.6, right? Uh, we take in direction to the east as positive. So this will be 9.6 uh, meters per second uh to the east to the east right to the east and now let's do 4.2.2 so 4.2.2 saying that uh, let's find the average net force that trolley x exists on trolley y during the uh, during the collision uh the average net force that trolley f uh, trolley x exists on trolley y during the collision we already knew that after the collision trolley y is going to move to the east right so the direction of this net force should also be to the east right irregardless of the sign we're going to get in our calculation right because the sign is going to depend on which body you use right are you using trolley x or are you moving are you using trolley y but then that should not have an effect on the magnitude right so if we use a uh, trolley x right so we're going to see f net is a goes to delta p divided by delta t let me explain why i'm using uh trolley x instead of trolley y the velocity of trolley y we calculated it ourselves right so what if that velocity is wrong and then we use it again right uh there's a good chance that that answer will also be wrong uh assuming that uh, there's no positive marking so let's just stick to trolley x because we're going to be using the velocities that are given to us so there's no way we can go wrong with the values right momentum final will be 1.2 multiplied by uh, 4 minus momentum initial which is 1.2 multiplied by 8 and then divided by the change in time which i've indicated here in our graph right uh it takes 
uh, it happens from 20.1 to 20.2 seconds. So here we're going to have uh, 20.2 being the final minus 20.1 being uh, the initial. So if I just, you know, put that in my calculator, uh, let me see what I get here. I'm getting minus 48, right? But we've already said that we don't care about uh, the sign, right? We know that it's supposed to be uh, 48 newtons to the east, right? To the east. And yeah, I think uh, that's it for 4.2.2. .2. Uh, let's see what we can do for uh, 4.3. So 4.3 here is saying that uh, let's let's uh, determine if uh, the collision is elastic or inelastic, right? And explain uh, the answer by means of a suitable conclusion. So what is the prerequisite for an, an elastic collision? So if a collision is elastic, then we need two things to be conserved, right? Uh, we need the momentum to be conserved and we need the kinetic energy to be conserved. So in 4.2.1, we calculated the value of y, assuming that momentum is conserved. So it will be, <laughs> it wouldn't make sense if we calculate uh, the momentums again, right? Because that's what we're assuming. We're assuming that the momentum is already conserved. So we're just going to calculate the kinetic energy and see if it is conserved, right? Yeah, so let's go ahead and do that. Um, so we're going to say ek before and then calculate that and see if it's equals to ek after so ek before will be equals to just the kinetic energy of trolley x because trolley y was stationary so when i have a half uh 1.28 and squared right so if i just put that in my calculator i have a half 1.2 uh multiplied by 8 squared and that is 38.4 joules right and then ek after now i have a half uh 1.2 multiplied by 4 squared plus this is for our trolley x right plus the ek for our trolley y uh we have a half the mass which is uh, what is this? the mass again the mass is uh 0 0.5 so we have 0 0.5 multiplied by uh, the velocity which we calculated right 9.6 and then we square that so let me just uh, put that in my calculator real quick and see uh, what I get so multiply by 0 0.5 multiply by 9.6 squared uh, I'm getting 32.64 joules so since you know ek before is not equals to ek after then we deem this collision in elastic, right?